Hey friends, welcome to One Flight Down Basement Beer Tastings. Out on the deck today, so not in the basement, and also not doing a beer. Today we're doing something a little bit different. This is a jalapeno pineapple margarita. Let's check this out. All right, so today's video is going out to uh, two of my fellow BrewTubers. Uh, one, uh, Drew at Beer for Breakfast, Facts for Snacks. Uh, he always says, try something different. Uh, and also uh, Anderson, AKA the Ginger Yeti. His thing, his little catchphrase is embrace the adventure. And I feel like what I'm doing today is trying something different and embracing the adventure. I don't have a little catchphrase. I got. I, I don't know. What do I have? Hey, friends. I don't know. <laughs> Can you see my face? That's about the extent of my catchphrase. Uh, I love those. I love the catchphrase of both those guys. And and like, uh, I don't know. I, I look at those as great words to live by. Uh, both catchphrases. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah. So today, not a beer. Uh, is this the first time? No, I did a, a, a whiskey, an Irish whiskey review quite early in the days of One Flight Down. Uh, I think like the first St. Patrick's Day episode I did, or, or like I think I did a, a series of episodes on, on St. Patrick's Week, and one of them was an Irish whiskey. So just a bit of quick background on, on myself and, and my approach to drinks like this. I mean, outside of beer, I'm mostly a, a, a whiskey drinker. Like I like... Uh, I like scotch and Irish whiskeys. I like them neat, sometimes on ice, um, bourbon sometimes too. Um, yeah, I like I like whiskey either neat or on ice. Mostly neat would be my, my usual preference, but I'm, I'm not going to turn down. <laughs> Somebody handed me a, a scotch on the rocks. I'm not turning that down. Uh, no, I, 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 some beverages I find like the ice brings out certain characteristics a little more. So yeah, I like... Um, whiskeys. I don't do a lot of cocktails uh, or mixed drinks. Uh, I do like Moscow Mules, nice uh, co cocktail that I enjoy. I like margaritas a lot. I really love a really well-made margarita uh, and a few others here and there. But but for the most part, I drink beer and occasionally uh, some whiskey. Uh, whiskey to end the night sometimes. But today, uh, yeah, I've got this pre-made. <laughs> margarita. Um, I picked this up yesterday when I was uh, out buying some beer at our, the local liquor store and they were giving samples of this and yeah you, you try the samples and then you go oh, I'll think about this and you walk away and you don't think about it you're never gonna buy that thing you just sampled but this one I felt pretty good about uh, going back and grabbing it. I think this bottle cost around twenty dollars uh, on the Rocks is sort of the, the brand on that. Uh, I, I don't know who exactly puts this out there. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure. I guess I should have researched that first. But it's, um, yeah, there's a series of these um, where they, they, they create um, cocktails, uh, pre-made cocktails. And I know I've I've had a couple others. I had a Moscow Mule one, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so anyway, this one is a jalapeno pineapple margarita. Hmm? Um, a sweet and spicy margarita crafted with Tre Generosones tequila. I probably butchered that, but I'll put the proper name down on the screen here. Uh, it's not a brand of tequila I'm particularly uh, familiar with. Um, but yeah, it uh, sounds good. It's 20% alcohol. And, and yeah, I was told, you know, you just, just pour a little over ice. Uh, you're not mixing this with anything. So it's just this on the rocks, as the name says. So I'm going to open this up. Again, I probably could have, you know, dealt with the plastic wrapping on it before I started filming a video. <laughs> but, you know, where's the fun in that? There we go. That wasn't so hard. Okay, uh, I'm gonna pop 
pop this open? Obviously, it's not going to make a shakluk sound. So a nice pop. Not even a pop, just a <laughs> very light pop. Uh, okay, I've got my glass with the rocks here, and I have no idea how much to pour in, so I'm just, I don't know, I'm just going to eyeball a little bit. That's probably way too damn much, but, you know, it's my day off. <laughs> All right. So when I sampled it, oh man, I'm getting the pineapple, getting the pineapple from here. So when I sampled this yesterday, what I liked about it is, is I, the spiciness hit me right away. And I am a spice fan. But as I was working my way through the store, and uh, there's a specific um, beer that I was looking for, and I was making my way up and down the aisles, the spiciness just went away and I was just left with this really nice uh, taste in my mouth like a hint of the spice but the pineapple as well so I'm hoping to get that experience again um, yeah all right uh, so check out the color on that I mean it is nice and yellow I mean I don't know what are you gonna do right with the color it's not like a beer where you're looking at the color it's supposed to be for the style or anything like that it's just a, a pretty margarita and yeah, I get, I am getting the tequila on the nose too. From far away, I get uh, pineapple. You bring it up close, the tequila, and it's a hint, just a hint of spiciness in there. Yeah, all right, let's uh, get in there and give this a try. big burst of pineapple up front um, it's funny because as I said when I was in the store and I tried it I remember the spiciness hitting me really strong out of the gate but not getting that so much right now I get a bit like it's, it's on the back end it's there um, but it's not overpowering at all and again like my first sip of it in the store was like oh that's maybe, maybe like they're overdoing it on the spice no not at all because as I said as I walked around I was just left with this really wonderful taste in my mouth and that's what I've got here like <laughs> just straight out of the gate the, the little bit of spiciness that is there uh, is enough that you're gonna sip this slowly like this, this is gonna take me a little while to get through um, as it should uh, but yeah that is really delicious it's got a nice bit of spiciness in there uh, it's sweet the tequila you can taste through there like you don't want a margarita where you can't taste the, the tequila like, that's just that's just not right um, so yeah quite happy with this, this uh, that was uh, twenty dollars well spent on this on the rocks that I got here I, I yeah again I don't know too much about the company itself um, is that a, uh, F Frankfort Kentucky I think it says so it's an American product the perfect drink for those who share our love of all things hot the jalapeno pineapple margarita is a combination of triple sec liqueur and pineapple flavor married with plata tequila and the heat from the jalapeno yeah, this is quite nice. And uh, I feel like I tried something different. And with the spice in there, uh, was, again, it's not as spicy as I thought it would be. But uh, the spice that I got when I have had that first sip in the store, I thought, I am embracing the adventure. So uh, cheers to you, um, to Drew, and uh, cheers to the Ginger Yeti. Uh, love both you guys uh, two of my favorite YouTube channels if you're not subscribed to them go check them out and uh, yeah uh, to the rest of you thanks for dropping by the Terry Isle patio we'll see you all again real soon my friends cheers